Good morning everyone, is 24mm too wide for street photography? Good question, let's try it together! All right guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. So today is a very special episode because as you may know, I've been traveling for a year all around the world with my camera and I had two lenses. One was a 16-35 f2.8 and another one is 7200. Now with zoom lenses, the thing is you get kind of lazy. You don't move that much, etc. So I decided why don't I spice things up and I'm put myself in a seven day challenge. That seven day challenge I started three days ago. There will be a recap video on that. But uh, right now I thought let's go and do some street photography at 24 millimeter with a 1.4 lens and see how that feels i really want to share that experience and show you how different it is well guys today we're going on that adventure together so let's get started expect awesome photos no i don't know we'll see Guys, well, so let's let's face it. I tried to go in a cute village to shoot street photography, and although I got a few shots, it, it felt like it was lacking life. You know that moment where you feel like a lot of things are happening and you can capture a lot. Well, this is what happened. So I actually changed village and went somewhere else. Now, before I share the good things, the bad thing about shooting a 24 millimeter in the street, I want to know what you guys think. What kind of lens would you go on a challenge for? seven days which one would you take if you had just one prime lens and also think about it as a challenge meaning uh, try to get out of your comfort zone which one would you bring on that trip I'm in Lanzarote right now in the Canary Island drop your uh, answer in the comments below and let's talk about what I liked about the 24 millimeter what I didn't like about it first of all I think what is really good at 24 millimeter is that you're able to capture the whole scene. You're able to give a sense of place to people. When I'm at 16-35, this is 16-35, it's very easy for me to just stay at 35 millimeter. It's a great lens. A lot of people use it for street. 35 millimeter is very nice because you can be tight but not too tight so you can still get a sense of the place. But at 24, I feel like you have that possibility to really suck the viewer into the frame it feels like uh, we're together in that in that place and that's what wide angles do in my opinion this is a really really big advantage uh, shooting at 24 millimeter it will come with a few downsides I'm gonna share that in a second but just that is really nice also the 1.4 f1.4 is amazing I don't know if you have ever shot with that but what happens and you can see I'm gonna do it right now when I'm at 1.4, everything just disappears in the background. It's super pretty. I don't want to burn myself. It's super pretty because the bokeh is insane, which means you're able to isolate subject even without having a long focal length. So you can really play around with that. This is something I really, really love. So even when you're shooting at 35.14 or 85.14, I mean 24-1.4 is so nice because it's wide and you get that shallow depth of field which usually you don't really have when you're shooting wide. And obviously the good thing when you're shooting wider is that you need to get more into the scene. If you guys get sucked into the frame it also means that I had to get way closer to get my shots. So it really really gets you moving. First primes get with you moving but 24 millimeter you need to go to the contact of people, you need to talk to them, you need to think about the subject you want, you need to get really close to your subject and I think it gives you a different kind of experience as a photographer and I think it's really uh, it's really nice to actually change from I'm gonna snipe from far to I'm gonna get in the scene and try to understand the frame try to understand what's happening and for storytelling I think it's really powerful because you really get into the story versus looking at it from afar without having the context here you are inside the context I don't know if that makes sense but this is my feeling about the lens and so I don't think I even mentioned the challenge is on the Sony uh, 24 mm 1.4 that they just released you saw me I tried it at Photokina and I got super excited I was like I want to do another video on that well here it is seven day challenge with that lens 
What I really, really love about that gear is that it's fast, it's super small, it's light, it's very, very light, it's 480 gram. There's an aperture ring which allows me to do that kind of things where you've got, you go from 16 to 1.4 in like two seconds, which is super awesome because for videos you can play around. And also I find it super fast when you're shooting in the street, for example, uh, to actually change your aperture even faster than using the dyes on your camera. So pretty good point. Now, what are the drawbacks at shooting a 24 millimeter in street photography? Let's talk about that. So the bad points are not that bad. It's just that you really need to, to get close to your subject. You really need to move and really get into those frames, which means you cannot be too shy. Or at least if you're shy, you're not going to be shy for very long unless you don't want any pictures of uh, the scenery, of being in the frame, of having people and all that. It is kind of surprising at the beginning because you think, oh, 24 millimeter is not that wide, but it's actually very wide, which means I have to get that close to people if I wanted to take their portrait. Now, if you don't know that person, it might not be a good idea, but as I did in the village, I actually went to up to people and I started talking to them. So I did take that photo uh, which is not too close uh, because you can't stay for too long with a camera in the face of people it just gets uncomfortable at least for me maybe you can relate uh, so i would say that is one of the bad points another one is simply that it's actually harder to isolate your subject you need to use basically a bunch of different techniques to isolate a subject let's say you have a person walking and you wanted to get just that person with 85 millimeter you would be able to use uh, at 1.8 for example you get that bokeh you get that compression which really have people stand out but when you're at 24 millimeter you very quickly even at 1.4 get the whole frame in focus which is not always what you want so you might have to become a bit more creative use for example white walls etc to get people to stick i'm gonna give a few recommendations after or like ideas that i have on how you can use your 24 millimeter to really have people stand out and i think it's for me it's a really good exercise because it's something i might not do a lot i rely a lot on my 7200 2.8 to really get the compression and get people to stand out get the shallow depth of field so it's actually a great exercise for me uh, to be honest two last thing is that people can actually be very shy uh, when you're shooting wide because you have to get very close to them as i mentioned but uh, if you go in with a smile and pretend you speak spanish Mi español es terrible. Well, sometimes it, it does work out, so don't worry too much about that. And in terms of the lens itself, the 21.4 from Sony, the problem I've had, uh, and it's not really a problem, I did hit the aperture ring a few times by mistake because I was carrying the camera, but I, I don't think that's, that's any issue. I really like the size, as I mentioned. I don't really have any bad points right now, but it's only been three days that I've been using it. So you're gonna have a fully detailed review coming up in the future. Um, or at least I will share the experience throughout the other videos. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Now, I still don't understand why there is a boat behind me, but let's talk simply about a few techniques that you can use to actually get your subjects to stand out. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. If you want to have a clean frame and have a subject stand out, you can use, for example, one of the doors that you have behind. In that kind of frame, what you could do is simply wait wait for someone to pass onto that frame and because you're 24 millimeter as you can see you actually get the whole building which can be a very nice effect in my opinion also because you are 24 you can get really close to objects and get people to stand out uh, through the objects so i use that in one of my shots there were two people they were standing at, at a bar but there was a barrel and there was a wall so i started using the barrel and the wall to actually frame those people although as i was at 24 millimeter it still worked out and i think the interesting thing is because you're 24 you still get a little bit of information on your foreground which actually can work to your advantage in certain cases where you're actually trying to tell a little bit more about where you are and what you're doing so those are just a few techniques that you can use i i highly recommend you to use a light a lot 
to get your subject to stand out and all that I think it will make a very big difference in your photography so overall the real conclusion here with 24 in street photography is it gets you to move a lot it gets you really into the action and I think it is a great great lens especially if you're shy because you're gonna have to get over that so guys uh, I hope this has been helpful I hope you've learned a few things I want to thank you because I shared the cheat sheet night photography cheat sheet last time and you guys gave me awesome feedback so if you haven't downloaded it I put the link again in this description and I want to announce that very very soon remember I talked about I was working on specific project about some kind of course that was completely unconventional and all that and totally differently thought well it's coming to life very 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 soon so if you want to make sure to be uh, notified if you want to make sure to be on the list because uh, my newsletter is getting a better price for the launch so uh, make sure you hit the link and drop your email and uh, join the list also so that you're notified I think it's gonna be mind-blowing I would love to take that um, I can't, I can't share with you what it is exactly. I, I would love to do it. If, if I were you, I would do it instantly. Anyway, with that being said, guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. I will let you go here. I want to thank you so much for your support. Uh, we've been growing quite a bit lately. There are a lot of new use. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're a, big, we're a bigger community right now, which is awesome. So everyone say hi to each other. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. We can't. Well, actually, you guys can in the comments. It's cool. I've seen people discuss keep doing that I really 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 enjoy seeing that so please sh 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 subscribe uh, hit the SUBCRE button ring the notification bell it's gonna make an awesome noise it's gonna make a huge dome and and you will join all the adventures I don't know if that makes sense yeah I guess all right I will see you in the next episode guys get out there go shoot try something different try something new and don't be afraid to use one lens for seven days but to tell a lot of stories here might be difficult. Oh, this guy is not cool. Oh no. Damn it, I missed it. Did you see that? The guy looks so... Oh, maybe we can follow him. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Of cool, but I don't know if you can see the guy there uh, has a hat. And it looks awesome. The problem is that he is a bit far. Oh, there is another guy walking. Wow guys, I don't know if you can tell, but in the background over there, two of the guys with the hat just sat down against the wall. We'll see if we can get a shot or not, but I need to debrief on that lens. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, let's try to shoot that. Oh wow guys, this is happening. Look, she's taking a photo of the guys because they just look so epic. So I think she just asked them and it's gonna take a photo. It's really cool.